Hey everyone! I was going to go live, but I realized that I do not have the qualifications to do a YouTube live video just yet, so I am going to do a quick unedited video showing you what the garden looks like today on this beautiful spring 55 degree day. So we'll take a quick walkthrough and I will show you exactly what made it through the winter and what didn't and what it looks like at the end. It's not very pretty, but it'll look a lot better in a week or two. So here we go. Hey, I'm back and this is what my garden looks like in very late March after a very long winter. You can see my composting stuff over there. It's a little bit messy, but it's working. And the first thing that I'm really excited about is my garlic. I planted these back in November and I'm very happy to report that every single clove that I put in the ground came back up and it's looking beautiful. Look at those green little stalks right there. They're about four inches tall, which is a lot taller than I expected this time of year. It's my first time growing it, so I'm excited to see what happens. I've got a good four inches of leaf mulch under here, so I am think I'm going to leave that. Um, the bulb is going to be down here. I originally thought I would pull it away, but I think I'm going to leave it all season and hope that that helps things grow even better this year. Although with this guy right here that's covering it, I might pull it away a little bit. I'll decide later what to do. But here's my garlic. Most of these are German white variety and then I've got the chestnut red in the back. And it'll be fun to see how they grow and which variety is better. And if they're both great, then fine. Over here, these kind of funky looking prehistoric guys are the kale that I left in the ground over the winter. I'm very surprised to see that it is growing. I actually harvested some of the leaves earlier this week and made a really nice salad out of them. They look really, really funky and bad, but these have been in the ground for almost a year, so I'm very happy to see that it made it. I think the reason why it made it and didn't die off was because there was a lot of snow here in the winter when it got really cold. So these were completely covered and protected from the really cold temperatures. And then over here, these are some green onions from my grocery store that I put in the ground last year. I just left them and they're actually coming back, which is pretty cool. The other stuff that didn't make it over here is my Swiss chard. It's pretty cold tolerant, but it's not cold tolerant all throughout the winter. I'm just going to leave this here because I'm later going to take some compost from way back over there and add it to this bed and bring it up for the new year. All this stuff is some Creeping Charlie, which is a really, really invasive weed here. So I'm going to have to dig it up first before I put the new compost down. You can see it's all over in here too. And back here, these are a bunch of leaves that I took from neighbors. Uh, they were already mulched up, so I put them here to protect the garden and use them as mulch later on. So what I'm going to do is, it's pretty tall, I'm going to float away, you can see the moisture underneath here. So it provides a really great mulch for the garden. So I'm going to rake this all aside, add compost to the beds, and then use these leaves as mulch once the vegetables start growing. And you can see it all went all the way down, and there's what's left of my compost pile. Got a bunch of the Creeping Charlie over the compost pile too, so I'm going to have to spend a lot of time making sure that it doesn't take over the garden this year like it did last year. It's going to take a little more work, but it'll be worth it. So this is what we're looking at right now, and I'm pretty happy with the garden. So I will catch you later. Bye!